Let's stop it here. Excuse me. Can you stop it? Sorry. We're going to back up. I'm, I wanted to. Dang, yeah, man. All right. First guy. He said, yeah, there's me right there. That's me. That's me right there with the Draco. All right, so again, for those of y'all who are wondering who this is, this is Cornelius Smith. He is allegedly the other gentleman who uh, who shot at young Dolph that day. So I can hear you back here, okay? Sir. And when I ask a question or when the defense attorney asks a question or the judge asks a question, um, you got to verbalize your answer, okay? So shaking the head and everything, I know that I know what it means. Yes, sir. But she's taking down what you say. And sir. so we need it like that. Yes. All right. Uh, how old are you? I'm 34. Where are you from? I'm from here Tennessee. What neighborhood? Like, on my area. Okay. Like, what, what streets uh, did you grow up on? Uh, Lamar and Sam's. All right. Uh, you got a family? Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. I have five children still living. I lost my son in March of 2020. Okay. And uh, let's talk about 2020 because, well, that was a terrible thing, right? Yes, sir. How old was he? He was nine at the time. And that had an impact on everybody? Yes, sir. Had an impact on you? Yes, sir. It caused you to take up some old habits? Yes, sir. I went back to popping pills and not caring about nothing. Before 2020, were you working? I worked in schools in Germantown. What'd you do for the schools in Germantown? Did you do good at that job? Yes, sir. Your son dies, you say you start popping pills. Yes, sir. Oxycodone, gets Street drugs. Yes, sir. Did you start hanging back in your neighborhood? Uh, yes, sir. Start hanging around a lot of, a lot of old friends. All right. Some of those old friends trouble? We all with trouble. I'm going to say that. We all with trouble. Okay. And I'm looking okay. here, uh, Cornelius, at your criminal record. You were convicted of aggravated assault in 2011. Is that correct? Yes, sir. Convicted of misdemeanor drugs in 2014? Yes, sir. I'm sorry, 2012. Case started in 2011 and ended in 2012. Yes, sir. As misdemeanor drugs. Oh, y'all are wondering about the camera angle. The judge gave an instruction earlier that she doesn't want the witnesses faces to be shown even though this man we know exactly what he looks like we know who he is the judge decided she doesn't want them to be shown so that's <laughs> that's why <laughs> we've got this view oh, man. Of misdemeanor drugs in 2014 yes, i know sir. it's I'm rough sorry, 2012. 2012. case started in 2011 and ended in 2012. yes sir as misdemeanor drugs yes sir and then resisting official detention in 2014. yes sir that's same Cornelius Smith. Yes, sir. And you're presently charged in this case with conspiracy to commit murder and with, with murder. Is that correct? Yes, sir. Um, and you have an attorney in this case. Is that correct? Yes, sir. And uh, is he in the courtroom? Let me get out of your yes, way. Sir. Okay. Yes, sir. Um, what promises have I made to you with regard to your testimony today? No. Have I told you that you're not going to testify and walk out of here. Yes, you told me that. Do you know that you're going to prison? Yes, sir. Wow. Have I told you that it's very important, though, for you to tell the truth? Yes, sir. I told you it's important to tell the truth because I said so? Yes, sir. And because the judge will evaluate whether I told the truth? Right. And have I told you it's in your best interest to tell the truth? Yes, sir. Are you here to tell the truth? Yes, sir. I want to skip forward. Okay? We're going to go back to everything. But I want to skip forward. <clears throat> tell me about the day that you were arrested for this case. Yes, uh, it was my daughter's birthday, actually. And, uh, your daughter's I birthday? Out. I Dang. took her some cake and ice cream to school for her birthday. And the U.S. Marshals had, they were trailing me the whole time. I didn't know. They were trailing me because I had saw go band the next the day before, 
and he was telling me that, you know, police was on to us or whatever, and he asked me when the last time I spoke to Justin, and he was saying, I was like, he been a minute. So he was like, they just ran in Justin's spot the night before, and uh, he said that they, they been shooting at him, and that, uh, that I need to get rid of my phone because they own us. And the next day, I was locked up. Like, Dang. Police captured him? Police captured that day? Uh, did they get your phone that day from you? They didn't get it from me. I left it with my children's mother. They get your phone from children's mother? Yes, sir. That's tough. So you didn't throw it away like Ovan told you to? No, I ain't throw it away. I gave it to her. <coughs> now, when the police first arrest you, I mean at the very start, do you say, hey, I want to tell you the truth about this whole thing? Uh, no. Uh, uh, I ain't no PD. Okay. You, did they interview you right after they arrested you? Yeah, they, they interviewed me in BC. Okay. You tell them the truth or a lie? I told them a lie. Okay. At some well, point, everybody's lying after here. you were arrested, <coughs> did you decide to tell the truth? Yeah, once I came to my senses and, uh, and Justin had uh, wrote me a kite. Somebody. Justin. Justin. So when you, when, when you hear another lawyer speak up and object, they make you stop talking. Okay? And you'll be instructed to either move on or to another question. Okay. I think uh, so the objection is going to be here, it's hearsay. Uh, so well, let me let me try to get you. Uh, well, let's try to back up, okay? So you said after you arrested, you came to your senses. Is right. that correct? All right. And you say that Justin, is that the defendant in this case? Yes, sir. Had written you something that you called him? A kite. A kite? Okay. Without saying what was in that kite, and that's a letter, is that right? Yes, sir. Without saying in that letter, after yeah, you received no. that letter, did you decide to tell the truth? Right. Uh, and what did you do once you decided to tell the truth? Uh, I had spoke with my lawyer. I had spoke to my lawyer. Uh, and thereafter, had you met a few times with detectives? Yes. And had you met, we count those two minutes right back here, I guess three or four times with me, is that correct? Yes. Would it be fair to say you did that because you realized you had been caught? Yeah, I've been caught and I got a conscience too. Now they don't know where my sense. Yeah, he said, I got, I got a conscience. <laughs> I got a conscience, you know? I'll be out here killing it. Oh, uh, see. I'm going to play a video up here, Cornelius. You can uh, turn a little bit to see it once we start playing. All right, here we go. This is where it all went down. Almost three years ago now. And for the record, you're playing what's will been marked be. as what will be marked as um, exhibit number five. You can start it right there. <clears throat> All right, Ms. What are we looking at? Well, this today that we had saw Young Dolph and Pulley and Makita. All right, so whose car is that? It's Young Dolph's car. All right, and you say we? Who who saw this car? Me and Justin. Well, let's back up then and tell me how do you know Justin? Oh, uh, do Govan. All right, and who is Govan? An Indian Govan, Quick. We know him by Quick. Okay, who is Quick? Uh, Soshi. Oh, Quick. All right, okay. Soshi, is he younger or older than you? Oh, thank you. Uh, what neighborhood does he hang out in? Orange Mountain. Does he live over there? Yes, sir, he did. Do you know what street his house is on? Oh, uh, Bray. Uh, are you familiar with that street? Yes, sir. Uh, did you ever buy drugs from Mr. Govan? Yeah, I brought Okay, would he sell you ecstasy pills? Yeah. Uh, you ever heard the, the term like old head? Nah. Okay. Would you consider him sort of a older? You've heard the term old head. Come on now. Yeah, I call him like a bro, like a bro. Right. Okay. okay. Uh, did you have another guy in that neighborhood you used to hang out with too? Yeah, Big Bobby. Big Bobby. Is that Bobby Carter? It's a Corvette. Bobby Carter, yeah. Looks like a stingray. Uh, how often would you be over there on Bradley Street? It's just about eight day. Okay. So this was a hanging out area, and you would buy ecstasy from Quit. Quit. Right. Uh, how is it that you met Justin through Quit? Oh, just no like being around, basically being around. Would Justin be around Quit too? Yeah, he'd be around Quit. Do you know why Justin would be around Quit? They, they leave each other like brothers, like, oh, brothers, okay. and then just rap or whatever. All right. You knew Justin to be a rapper. Yeah. Did you know his, his rap name? Straight drop. 
And did you know Quet to be involved in, I guess, the rap business or something? Yeah, we found Quest. Okay, how did you <laughs> what, what sort of what he called himself as far as being in the business? I guess a negotiator. I don't know. A negotiator? Oh, no. <laughs> okay. Uh, do you know whether or not he was trying to negotiate for a straight drop? He is trying to get him a deal. Okay. Do you know who he is trying to get him a deal with? Oh, Big Juke and him. Got him. All right. You said Big Juke, is that correct? Yeah. Have you ever heard of the music label CMG? Yeah. Is that Big Juke? Yeah, Big Juke. And his brother, right? Yeah. His brother's Gotti, is that correct? Yeah. Okay. Before this day, which is in November of 2021, about how long had you been knowing Justin? Oh, three months. Few months. About how many times do you think you've been around? Club ten. We went to club together. You no, know, uh, we've been around together. Club ten. Okay. Uh, and for the record, I know that there's a formality, but for the record, can you point him out in the courtroom and tell me what he's wearing and stuff? Yeah, the young brother over there with the uh, button down shirt, blue and white. Dang, pointed him out. Just the record could reflect that he's identified the defendant, Mr. Justin Johnson. Your Honor. That's the record reflect that the witness has identified the defendant in court. So how did you get to be with Justin Johnson this day on November 17th, 2021? Oh, uh, we, we knew that, you know, they had hit on uh, Dolphin and Head or whatever, so... Who had a hit on whose head? Big Jug had, had a hit on Dolphin Head or whatnot, so... How do you know that Big Jug had a hit on Dolphin Head? Ah, uh, because Quit had told me about it, Quit, and, you know what I'm saying, being just... How much money was it supposed to be? 100000 on Dolphin Head. And had Dang. you agreed to do this hit? He's up yes, there sir. singing. Had Justin agreed to do this hit? Yes, sir. Are we all going to do it together? Yeah, they, they been on me, but yeah. What was, was there any you arrangements think? as far as split the money or anything? Yeah, yeah uh, me and him, and, uh, we, me and him should all be giving away 10000 a piece. All right, so you and him are going to do it. God dang. You think he knew? You think Justin knew he was going to point the finger at him like this? So what happened was Quet, a.k.a. Uh, Mr. Mr. Govan, said, hey, I need y'all to do this. You each just give me 10000 apiece and you'll get 40000 So he was, Mr. Govan was going to get 20000 and then each one of them were going to get forty for uh, shooting Dolph. Wow, look at Justin, he's like, God dang. What was, was there any arrangements as far as splitting money or anything? Yeah, uh, me, him, and uh, we, me and him should all be giving away 10,000 apiece. All right, so you and him are going to give Go Van 10,000 apiece? Yeah. And how much are you going to get? I was getting 40, he was getting 40. Okay. Um, had you <coughs> spoken with Justin about this? Yeah, we had, we had been talking about it. Okay. This was. Not something that just happened this day, but something that was in the process for weeks. It's just the writing down. How did y'all hook up this day, if you remember? He had pulled up to give me. He came and got me or whatever. Where'd he get you from? He got me from my father's house. Where's your father's house? Up in the Orange Mountain area? Yeah. Had either you called him or he called you or anything like he this? He called me first time. I used to call him. He called me back. I answered him. He telling me basically they were pulling up because we already knew what was going on. You already, when you say you already knew what was going on, you already knew what this was about? Yeah, because we knew they were going to take a drive, so we were actually on our way to Westwood. Had you and Justin talked about this particular day before? Like, nah, not the specific day. Like, we just knew that it would take a drag on every day that we... Okay. You knew that, is it fair to say you knew Dolph was involved in these turkey drives this week before Thanksgiving? Yeah, we didn't know we were going to catch him, but we knew he, his artist. Everybody had a hit on me. Everybody had a price on me. From Joke? Yeah, from Joke. And that was going to be y'all's business Easy. this week? Yeah, that was that being you. When he arrived at the house, do you remember That's what he was driving? Oh, uh, white Mercedes Beans. Okay, had you, had you seen that car before? Nah, I ain't never saw that car. Did you get in the car with him? Yeah, I got in. Was there anybody else in the car? Nah, it was just me and Jason. Uh, were there any guns in the car? Yeah, they was on the big seat in the bed. Do you remember what kind of guns they were? Draco, handgun. Okay. I saw the Draco. And Draco. Memphis. Some type of bigger semi-automatic weapon, is that right? <coughs> and then a handgun. Do you remember what you were uh, wearing that day? I had on some gray suede pants, orange and white uh, Jordan one, and a that? blue gap hoodie. A blue gap hoodie? With a do-rag on. With a do-rag on. 
Did y'all have uh, Did y'all have gloves? I ate my own gloves. You had your own gloves? Crazy. When you got in the car, did you have your gloves on? No, I ain't have gloves on. Uh, you said Justin had his own gloves? Yeah, he had gloves on. Split gloves. World's dumbest criminals, man. You getting in the car to shoot somebody and you don't wear gloves the whole time. He said, nah, I just. I took them off for a minute. And then when I got out to shoot the weapon, I put the gloves on. Come on. Come on, man. Did y'all have gloves? I had my own gloves. You had your own gloves? Yeah. When you, when you got in the car, did you have your gloves on? No, nah, I ain't have gloves on. Uh, you said Justin had his own gloves? Yeah, he had his gloves on. Split gloves. He had his, his black gloves on before he picked you up? Yeah. Uh, does he get out of his car and pick you up, or do you go up to the car? Nah, I got I got out of the house, came out of the house, uh, got on in the car. Okay. Wow. Off to do the mission? Yeah, do, do a mission. Try to catch somebody. Try to catch one of the rappers? Yeah, one of them. At the Turkey Drive in Westwood? In Westwood, yeah. All right. What happens if y'all get in the car? Let's oh, we, we back on Bradley Street. He got some out of... Uh, I think that was like a uh, expedition truck that he had parked on Bradley Street. And then we took the back street. We was at Lamont Airways. We had the light. So he picks up, let me get this right. He picks you up in the Mercedes, is that right? Yeah. Uh, but you go to Bradley Street. Sure. Yeah. And is there an expedition already there? Yeah, expedition already there. Parked in the yard. Do you know who parked that expedition there? I guess he did. Okay, well, we're not allowed to guess in here. Ah, well, okay. so nah, I the... ain't seen him park it though. Okay. Uh, and what color was it? Where's my body language people at? Where's uh where's Amy at? Whoo, y'all see him <laughs> y'all see him burping, his breathing shallow, his entire upper body, his shoulders. This man's freaking out. He is he can't believe what's going on. Just look at his body language, tapping the pen. Look at his look at his breathing. He looks like he's about to lose it. Yeah, he had parked on Bragg Street. And then we took the back street. We was at Lamont Airways. We had the light. So he picks up. Don't get this right. He picks He's you shaking. up in the Mercedes. Is that right? Yeah. Uh, but you go to Bradley Street. Sure. Yeah. And is there an expedition already there? Yeah, expedition already there. Parked in the yard. Do you know who parked that expedition there? I guess he. Did. Okay. Well, we're not allowed to guess in here. Ah, well. Okay. So nah, I the... ain't seen him park it though. Okay. Uh, and what color was it? White. A white expedition. Yeah, white. Uh, did y'all do anything when y'all went to Bradley Street at that point? He got something at the truck. He's holding something. Yeah. I got you. So he gets out of the Mercedes of Bradley Street, goes into the expedition and gets something. Yeah. And comes back. Do you know what he got? Nah, I don't know. Uh, are y'all talking at this point? Nah, we we weren't talking. Like, cause he was on the phone at first, then he hung it up. But we weren't talking about. We weren't talking. About. Okay. Now y'all were cool with each other, is that right? You and Justin. It looks like God. it. God. He gets back in the white Mercedes. Yeah, he get back in the white Mercedes, and we take the back street. I think get you and stuff to uh, we was at Lamar and Airway. We finna get on Spreadway, going to the Spreadway. Okay, Bradley to Dedrick is that what you said? Yeah. And then y'all are gonna get on the expressway. Yeah, we finna get on Spreadway on Airway. Okay, but when and this is Airways that we see. Yeah, it's Airway. Okay, uh, what happens once y'all get to Airways? We hit the light. Y'all can come clean across the light. Shaky leg. How y'all you know, you know it was off? Everybody know, you know, hey, Kai, um, T-Cars. People in Memphis knew about that rap, right? Yeah. That camouflage nice. white and green and blue rap. Yeah. That surprise you? See him like that? Yeah. Did you say anything or did Justin say anything? He was like, they go dog right there. All right, what did y'all do? We perceived the trail. Perceived right. the trail. So y'all are following him on the right? follow them. Yeah, right over, right over the street. Right. And you saw the first part of this video, didn't you? Yeah. Did you see him pull off here to the cookie store? Yeah, he pulled in the cookie store. And what'd y'all do? We made the block. We made the block. We came with the bag way. We came with the bag way. I jumped out. We started shooting. All right, well, let's back up here, though. We saw him pull off of Airways <coughs> to here. Is that right? Yeah. Y'all, can you see my little pointer? Yeah. Y'all be traveling this direction on Airways. Is that right? right. Then did y'all do a crazy U-turn or anything, or what y'all nah, did? Nah, nah, we came, we came with the back street. We okay. Came with the back street. Following the clicker, is this what y'all did? Yeah. Okay. We went to the light, made the loop around. Did you see him get out of his car like this? Nah, I ain't seen him get out of the car. Okay. <laughs> Lucky there's nobody else in there. And the girl inside the store didn't get hit either.
That man said. Is that y'all? Yeah, it is those right there. Stop it here. Get me? Do something. We're gonna back up. I'm, I wanted to. Dang, yeah, man. Right. First guy. He said, yeah, there's me right there. That's me. That's me right there with the Draco. Man, Adam says, uh, adult security should have secured the door from the outside and never entered. He was lacking that how Dolph got shot. Well, it was just his brother, Marcus. So there really wasn't security. Secondly, they should have never stopped in the first place. They, um, they knew they were being followed. And he's going to testify to that later. They should have never stopped. He said, yeah, that's me. Yeah, that's me right there. Hey, y'all see me? Y'all see me on camera? Nasty, nasty work. You see the car pulling up here. Say so, y'all. Yeah, there's a right there. Stop it here. It's me. He said, there's me. Do something. We're going to back up. I wanted to yeah, back up a little bit. All right. First guy out of the car, who's that? It's me. That's you? Which one of the guns do you have? I got the new Draco stab gun. Okay, that's that semi-automatic weapon, is that right? Yeah. You ever shot that thing before? No, I never shot that one. No way. You can proceed, Arch. That's your gap booty, is that right? Yeah, that's you, who are you shooting at? No, no, no. All right, now back it up again, uh, Miss Iris, if you would. Look at those shots, man. Back it up for Justin getting out of the car. All right, who's the second person here? The guy on the driver's side. Justin. He's got the. Uh, so that's Justin. Smaller handgun, is that right? Yeah, bad, bad, bad baseball head, bad for baseball You're firing this crazy thing. What you see? What are you feeling? I want to feel none of the time. I ain't gonna even let it. I'm trying to get some money. Trying to get some money? Wow. Bet you probably would have wasted on Oxycodone and ecstasy. What? Leading. What the hell? Mm. What was that question? Is that not leading? He said uh, that you would have probably spent on drugs, right? Jesus. Trying to get some money. Bet you probably would have wasted on oxycodone and ecstasy. You shot that gun a bunch? Asked and answered. Objection. Aiming for Dolph. Was he able to uh, say anything to y'all or is he able to run or get away at all? I shot through the glass, so I went close up on him, I was shooting through the glass. Okay. I saw him standing by the window, I just got out and started shooting. All right. You can proceed until Justin shoots. There, with the handgun. Who's that? It's Justin. Y'all can see the shots coming out here. These things, these shots, if you look at the path, I mean, it's hard to tell from this angle. These shots were probably going whew, right past their head. And I think, I think we're listening to um, Cornelius Smith testify right now. I think he said he got shot in the shoulder somewhere around here. So that's probably one of these shots there. You could look, and I almost want to play it in slow motion. But you can see Marcus taking shots from this door. Right around here. Let me see. Proceed. Watch this area right here. There. Pop, the pop, 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 pop. These shots Who's are that? going phew, yes. phew, 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 right past his face. All right. You proceed. All right. You stop right here. This is Dolph's brother, Marcus. Did you know that he shot back at y'all? I ain't noticed until we pulled up. It was a bullet hole in my side window. Yeah, he got him. Right, I'm heat. He said, I'm heat. He got shot in the side. I don't know how, I mean, 
considering he y'all are saying he may have had a switch on his uh on Marcus might have had a switch on his handgun. I mean, considering he hit him, it's impressive because those that circle was pretty tight. Um so shout out to Marcus for doing his thing. I don't know why this isn't loading. And thank you to Elizabeth Wright. She gifted five memberships over there. All right. If you got a membership from Elizabeth Wright, make sure you say thank you. Let's keep it going. So just I'm heat. You like I'm heat too. I'm heat. So I see I'm heat right here on my leg. And I see a bullet hole in my sweater. I see, so we driving out, he was saying he was heat. I'm talking to him, making sure we on Rick. Making sure he's straight. I'm like, you alright? He's like, yeah, I'm straight, I'm straight. Bullet head went in my arm. He was a bullet in my back. Let's I'm gonna back up. Uh you and Justin here. Or run into the white Mercedes, is that right? Right. You get in what side of the car? I get on the passenger side. And Justin gets back in the driver's side? Yeah, he gets in the driver's side. Y'all get in the car, and you can watch the rest of the, of the video here. Did y'all see Marcus getting the second gun from his car? Nah. Um, what? When we Dang, Marcus out, got the second gun. Marcus is... Marcus is a G. And I knew we were shot, but I would finish you back, but there were too many cars coming, and I didn't just want to eat no any bad, so I didn't shoot back. He's Marcus trying to finish the job. At y'all, as y'all were leaving from down here, is that right? Yeah. Uh, and you would be in the car at this point? Yeah, we was in the car. Looking backwards? Yeah, I, I was looking back, but we, we had, like, how we were driving. Like, how you driving? He was like, Dang. That's crazy. All oh, the way on the other side, but you no, know, so I ain't want to just shoot. So the shots, all the shots that you fired. I apologize, y'all. This is buffering like crazy. Let's this back a little bit. at y'all as y'all were leaving from down here is that right yeah uh and you would be in the car at this point yeah we was in the car looking backwards yeah i, I was looking back but we we had yeah. like how we were driving like how you driving he was all the way on the other side but you know so i ain't want to just shoot back uh -huh. so the shots all the shots that you fired were the ones we saw right here uh with Dolph, is that right yeah uh, and Justin too? Yeah. Alright, so y'all didn't shoot back at Marcus as y'all were no, driving. Shoot back you uh say you got shot in the shoulder? Yeah, I got hit in my shoulder in my arm. I believe it. In the upper arm shoulder area your, of your right and, and your leg. And you realize you had been shot once you got in the car? Yeah, once I got in the car. Um could you still have uh, a scar from when you got shot uh, in the arm? Is that right? Yeah, right. Yeah. Uh, can I have step down to slide this to the jury real quick? Come on, sister. Terrible. Just one time this way. Backwards for the field. Thank you, sir. All right. All right, been there this you whole, this whole life. Car, you've been hit in the shoulder uh, on my and in the leg. Justin may or may not have been hit, but said yeah, something. Yeah, got scraped on your back. Scraped on your back. All right, what now? Mm -mm -mm. Well, we went back on Bradley Street. Did y'all go to Bradley Street slow or fast? Nah, we went back fast. Went back fast. You said we went back fast. No, we caught so he gave me the keys to the expedition. Bet. So he called the beans. Who, who gave you the keys to the expedition? Justin gave me the keys to the expedition. Okay. So I moved the truck out of the way, and he pulled the beans in the yard. Okay. So the, the expedition, was it parked in the driveway at Bradley? Yeah, we parked in the driveway. And he gives you the keys to the expedition? Yeah. You get inside to move it? Yeah. And then where does he put the Mercedes? He put it, like, right there with the, with the expedition in the front yard. Okay, so the front driveway area yeah. of Bradley, is that right? Right. Uh, what do you do next? Uh, we jumped in the expedition. We was on our way to the gas station. We FaceTimed Juke. Let him know that they was out of work. Who FaceTimed Juke? Just had FaceTimed Juke. I'm out dope. You know what I'm saying? Let him know that we did it. And we'll back that up. You say, let him know what y'all's work. Right. Uh, you said you spelled, somebody spelled out Dolph. Who yeah. spelled out Dolph? Just spelled out Dolph. When you say spelled out Dolph, what do you mean? I said sign language. Uh, with, 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 uh, yeah. 
Like this would be an O? Nah, yeah, I think I'll Nasty, nasty work. Okay. Alright, so there was some signing that y'all just took care of y'all. Who's that? Short call, long call? It was short. Uh, did you hear Jook say anything back? Yeah, yeah, he'll get with us when he get done with the kids, like, get up on him. He'll get with y'all when, how do you hear that last part? Get up, I'll get up with, uh, get up, uh, finish with the kids, something like that. But he was busy with his kids. Yeah, something like that. Gotcha. Gotcha, but he would get up with y'all after yeah. that. Okay. How are you feeling at this point? He's going, I'm hurting because I was shot. Oh. Where, where are y'all's guns at this point? No kidding. Oh, uh, we had them in the backseat for the expedition. Okay, so y'all brought them with you from the Mercedes to the expedition? Yeah. We all still still wearing your gloves, you remember? Yeah. Uh, True. It's nah, I don't remember. Okay. Um, so y'all are in the expedition. Choo -choo. Um, the FaceTime call with Jook has happened. What do y'all do? Where y'all headed? What y'all well, say? Yeah. We went to the gas, they put the gas in the expedition truck first. In the, in the ski. Area. Yeah, they in Memphis, so they go, ski, yee. <laughs> Man, he was trying to find somebody at the house we go, so. You know, we get cleaned up with that. All right. You needed some medical attention or something. Yeah, we, he had caught one. He probably just had caught one. He probably had to bring me a wound kick, bring a wound kick or whatever. Do you know who we called? I don't know who we got. Okay. Uh, do you have your phone with you during this? Nah, my phone. I had left my phone in the bin. I didn't even say bin. All right. So when you got in the bins from your house, did you have your phone with you? Yeah, I had my phone. I put it in the glue of the pot. Okay. Yeah. When you got out to shoot off like we saw, did you have your phone with you? Nah, it was in the glove department of the bean. Okay. Had you put it in the glove department so that it wouldn't be on you? Yeah, I put it on you. But you forgot? Yeah, I forgot. So when you adjust him the expedition, you don't have your phone, but he has That's his. a fact, yeah. Sean. It's business. Is he able to make contact with somebody to figure out <clears throat> how to get stuff or where to go? Oh, he had Kyle one of his cousins. He said, who house we went over in Whitehaven. So we cleaned up. So he went to his cousin's Trying house in Whitehaven. And, uh, Quit head call, like, man, y'all got to clean me stuff up. Quit head call. Now, like, man, get my phone at the cop. Get my phone at the cop. Leave my phone in the cop. So he was like, all right, we need to move the cop. Yo, Quit was saying. So we talked to Joke right after. Yeah. Uh, but Quet too. Yeah. And do you remember whether or not the conversations with Quet happened before y'all got to his cousin's apartment or after? Yeah, I, I can't recall. Okay. Can't. But it was all close together. I agree. Uh, and tell me again what Quet said during these conversations. Yeah, we had to, like, get rid of the car. We had to move the car, get rid of it. Because y'all had put this car in a driveway on Bradley, right? Yeah, right across the street from yeah. Right across the street from where Quet lives. Right. And he said y'all need to move this. Yeah, we got to get we gotta burn the engine up. Got to get rid of it. Y'all were busy trying to get yourselves taken care of, though. Yeah, we, we, we you know, I got, we changed clothes with them. And I had old peroxide on me and wrapped myself up, and I had to take my Girl, come give me. Takes her the address off of Justin's phone. Come give me. And, and let's get there. You said that Justin had contacted his cousin about going to her place. Is that right? Yeah. Uh, is that Kiana Hopper? Yeah. Um, did y'all, in fact, go to her place? Correct. When y'all went to her place, what car were y'all in? We was in the white expedition. Uh, when y'all get to her place, what do y'all do? Well, we need to say chain clothes. And uh, we was in there, she had helped me for a minute before the wound kick came. She was helping me out or whatever. We chained clothes and the wound kick came. I was able to, you know, put bandage on it and stuff like that. Okay. Um, I want to show you a video. Too calm. He knows he's about to get locked up, so he said, well, hey, whatever. He's not worried about it. He's telling them everything. Yeah, you see that, Donna? Now, this video, I think, is going to be a problem. The shooting, uh, you, you have no way of knowing who that is. This video is going to be probably the biggest one out of all of them. The shooting, it was, I think it's, God, I don't even want to say this. I want to be respectful about it. People are going to want to see what happened. I'll say it that way. But this video where they pull up in the different car is is going to be the biggest one when it comes to a guilty verdict for Justin Johnson. See that person there? Yeah, 
Jocelyn said it. It's true. This woman that we had seen earlier that lost back, is that Justice's cousin? Yeah, it is. Old. Yeah, y'all trust people if you want to. Can stop it here. Trust people if you want to. Driver just got out. Who's that? Is he? You got your shirt all messed up, don't you? Yeah. Why is that? Sh I bleed. Shot. In the shoulder. Yeah. Go ahead. And we saw somebody get out of the passenger side, yeah. right? Yeah, they just... All right, you can play a little further. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Gray sweatpants, black hoodie, and that hat we saw is Justin. Is that correct? Correct. Same outfits that y'all were wearing during the murder? Correct. Y'all... And the issue that the prosecution is going to have is actually putting Justin at the crime scene because... I mean, okay, he might be wearing this same outfit, but can you, without uh, beyond reasonable doubt, say that was him that fired the shots? Could he be the fall guy? I mean, we still have a lot of information we have to learn. And that hat we saw is Justin, is that correct? Correct. Same outfits that y'all were wearing during the murder? Correct. He's singing. Y'all go inside. Tell me what y'all do once y'all get inside. We go to the giant club. Chain clothes. We ain't talk too much to her about nothing did we nail none of this. Alright. But we had chain clothes over down here. Tell me about your shoulder. Oh, uh, I was bleeding. Like I was bleeding. You still so she gave me some peroxide and still put on my shoulder. Or oh, and the wound kit pulled up. So I was able to bandage that jump up. Uh wound kit. Did you say pulled up or came up? Is that yeah, right? Yeah. Had Justin gone outside? Yeah, he went outside to get the get the bag. Play that next video. Do you know whose charger this is? No, I don't know who charger it is. It's the same day. Who's going to get out of this car? Shout out to Nick's love. So it looks like a surveillance camera. You see that man come out? Yeah. Who's that? It just. He's taking off the hoodie, is that right? He doesn't have the hoodie on anymore, does he? Ah, uh, nah, nah, we had trying to close. What are these things in his hand? Oh, that's the wound key. Wild room, baby. Yeah, you still, that's right. You still can't tell that it's him.
watching here. Oh, there he goes. He's getting out of the car now. Yeah, I got shot. He had a straight on bit. After y'all get patched up, uh, y'all leave the apartment? Yeah, I had to take Smith. my girl from his, from his phone and send her to Andrew to come get me. Okay, you had to use Justin's phone to text your girlfriend? Right. When Nasty work. Y'all talked to Quet and he told y'all to move the car. Uh, did you tell him anything about your phone? Yeah, I told him to get my phone at the uh, at the cop at the glove part, and he told me to beat him over at the car wash and get my phone or whatever. Okay. We can play the video of y'all leaving now. Does your girlfriend in fact come to pick you up? Yeah, she pulled up here. Is that right? Yeah. You're walking over here. What are you walking to? Well, they probably went in there and smoked. Okay. Is that Chevy Trax? Is that yeah, right? Get my phone from quick and go give me some pills because I was shot up. And he was finna uh, go get the money from Julie. He's supposed to get no weed. Is this the Chevy Tracks? Yeah, it's the Chevy Tracks. Justin there in the yellow? Yeah. <coughs> Do you have the surveillance from the car wash too? Probably not, I guess. Yeah, Tennessee's amazing. I love Tennessee. Memphis, on the other hand. I'm good on that. Uh, 